read any woman's magazine, you'll find the same complaint over and over again. Men are not interested in foreplay, and they're hopeless in bed. They're selfish, greedy, clumsy, and unsophisticated. These complaints, I can't help feeling, are kind of ironic, because back then all we wanted was foreplay, and girls weren't interested. We were told not even to think about it. Foreplay changes from something boys want to do and girls don't to something women want and men can't be bothered with. The perfect couple, if you ask me, is the Cosmo woman and the 14-year-old ba-ba-ba-boy. Did you steal that one already? Six bucks. You, you called about the records? Right. It's the best collection I've ever seen. I wouldn't doubt it. You know, I can only afford to buy just a few of these. Give me 50 bucks and they're all yours. Yeah, right. These are worth at least... I, I know, know what 15, they're worth. 20. Give me 50 and get them out of here. But you must have... I must have nothing. They're my husband's. And you're not getting along with him too well at the moment, huh? 
My husband is in Jamaica with a 19-year-old, a friend of my daughter's. And he had the fucking nerve to call me and ask me to sell his singles collection and send him a check for whatever I got, minus a 10% commission. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, would you be sure to give me a five? Because mm -hmm. I want to frame it. Put it on the wall. Can I pay you for those properly? I mean, you don't even have to tell them how much you got. Send them 45 bucks and blow the rest. Give it to charity or something. That's not part of the deal. I want to be poisonous, but fair. I couldn't do that to another collector. Suit yourself. There are plenty of others who will. Look, let's compromise. What about 1,500? They're worth at least 10 times that. 60 bucks. 1300 75 1100 That's my lowest offer. And I won't take a penny over 90 <laughs> More than that, and he could afford to come back, and that's the last thing I want. I'm sorry, but I think you're going to have to talk to somebody else. <laughs> Fine. Can I just buy that one Otis Redding off of you, please? Ten cents. Let me give you ten bucks. It's worth twenty times that. Okay, because you've got principles and because you took the trouble to come up here, but that's it. And don't think that you're going to buy these one by one. Okay. Did you uh, see the Sex Pistols, God Save the Queen, in there? Yeah, I saw that one. It's free. You know, Rob, I didn't even think you liked me. I always act so odd when I was around. Is that why you wanted to hang out? Yeah. When a guy acts weird around me, I like to know what's going on. You know what I mean? Do you know now? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you? So, I'd like it if you'd stay the night. Oh. Why is failure the first thing I think about? Sometimes I wish I were my old man. He never had to worry about making mom's hot all-time top 100 because he was first and last on the list. Pops, did you ever have to worry about the female orgasm? Do you, in fact, even know what a female orgasm is? I mean, do you envy me and my sex life? Or does it all seem like just hard work to you? Listen, son, the good fuck wasn't even invented when I was your age. First time I saw a woman naked, I was already married to her. Stop whining about it. Just get on with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Maybe he's realized what a total fucking blind asshole he is and he wants to talk to you about it or something. Or maybe sorry. No, 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 no. This is because I'm with someone else first. That's why. And if I went back now, he'd meet someone and leave you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, maybe it's worth going back for two weeks and let him do the breaking up. That's sad. I know. Wow. Mm. Well, how's Ian? He's growing on me. Hmm. He looks like he could grow on something. She looks different. Something's happened. Maybe something real or maybe something in her head. Whatever it is, you can see that she thinks she started on some new stage in her life. She hasn't. I'm not going to let her.
Wait, so, um, would keyboardist and saxophonist count as two jobs? Yes. What about guitarist and bass player? I don't know, just one, I think. Oh, so Keith Richards and Bill Weinman had the same job, according to you? Just do the list. You should have told that to the Stones. It would have saved them a lot of trouble. So what do you got there? You got don't look at my Freedom thing. Fighter, Grendel, what do you have? Fisherman. What you else? make your list. I made mine already. I'll give you 10% of the door if you don't play. You know, we're getting that already. 20%. No, we need the gig. 110%, that's my final offer. That's how much it means to me not to hear you play. We're not as bad as you think, Rob. You couldn't possibly be, Barry. Look, there are gonna be people from Laura's work there. People with dogs and babies and Tina Turner albums. How are you gonna cope with them? We're called SDM, Sonic Death Monkey. Sonic Death Monkey. What do you think, Dick likes it? You like that, Dick? Yeah. <laughs> Barry. You're over 30 years old, you owe it to yourself, to your friends, to your parents, not to play in a band called Sonic Death Monkey. I owe it to myself to go right to the edge, Rob, and this band does exactly that. Over the edge, in fact. Well, you'll be going right over the fucking edge if you come anywhere near me on Friday night. That's what we want, reaction. Hey, this was Laura's idea, not mine, buddy. And if Laura's bourgeois lawyer friends can't take it, fuck them. Let them riot, we can take it. We're fucking Sonic Death Monkey. Okay, let's start the interview. Okay. You must have an enormous record collection. Yeah. What are your all-time top five records? Oh, boy. I mean, in the club or at home? Is there a difference? Yes, of course. Sin City by the Flying Burrito Brothers is definitely an all-timer, but you don't play it at the club because it's a country rock ballad and everybody goes home. Do you understand? Well, never mind. Any five. Four more. All right. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you in like a week or so. Listen, okay? if you can't think of any, I'll just do mine. No, no, no. I got it. Sin City, New Rose by The Damned, Hit It and Quit It by Funkadelic, Shipbuilding, Elvis Costello, Japanese import, no horns or different horns anyway, Mystery Train by Elvis Presley, and Spaced Cowboy by Sly and the Family Stone. A bit controversial, I know. Fine, that's six. Summertime Blues, Blue Cheer version. You want that in there? Yeah. <laughs> and I have to have the upsetter by Lee Scratch Perry in there somewhere, so. You are way over your limit. Look. Why don't I just make you a tape? Wow. I could have DJ Rob Gordon play in my own home? I guess, yeah. No. Yes. I can't believe you did that. What? Because you always say that Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On, is the greatest recording of all time. Shh. Now it doesn't even make your top You're five. Right. And you know what? You even told me that that song was responsible for our entire relationship. It was. It is. And what about Moby Dick? Moby Grape, Omaha. Moby Grape, Omaha. And Skip Spence and the Minutemen and the Clash. You're right, and you're zombies. right, you're right, you're right. Hi, Caroline, it's me again, Rob. Listen, this is getting really embarrassing, but I have an entirely new list, all right? So let's just get into this right away. Let's get it on, Marvin Gaye. Has to be in the all-time top five. Sound and Vision by David Bowie, Dirty Water by The Standells, Dancing Barefoot by Patti Smith, Me and My Baby Brother by War, and Bill Withers, Grandma's Hands. I'm sure you know about his personal commitment to integrity. You know all this history. I'm just realizing that six. I've done six, so I have to lose one and call you back. Okay, fuck. 